RoboCop or RoboCop 2014 is a remake of the 1987 movie of the same name. It's a sci-fi action film directed by Jose Padilla. It stars Joel Kinnaman and Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, Samuel L. Jackson, Abby Cornish, Jackie Earl Haley, Michael K. Williams, and Jay Burchell. Uh, the movie was released February 12, 2014, had a budget of $100 to $130 million at the box office, and grossed $242.6 million. Joel Kinnaman plays Alex Murphy, the role that Peter Weller became known for. Uh, Gary Oldman is Dennett Norton, kind of the Omni Foundation chief scientist who creates RoboCop. Michael Keaton is the CEO of Omnicore. And Jack Earl Haley is kind of the person who controls RoboCop in a way. And Samuel L. Jackson is Pat Novak, kind of the host of the Novak element and prominent supporter of mechanized crime control. The aspect of this is different because we finally have a setting and a year and a time this movie takes place. It's set in 2028 and a detective becomes critically injured and turns into a cyborg police officer whose programming becomes blurred between the lines of human and cyborg between man and machine. Um, when you first heard Robocop was being remade, how could you do this? Okay, it's interesting. He is all black in this. There is a, an homage to the original suit, but it doesn't last long. If they kept that, great. Maybe it would have worked. But you can tell the aspect of what is CGI, what is real, and what the actor is wearing. Joel Kinnaman uh, doesn't bring that dynamic of what RoboCop should be. I mean, this movie has an all-star cast. Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, Samuel L. Jackson. What other movie can you say that these three have been in and were in a film you thought would be something better no it's robocop uh the aspect of how alex murphy gets injured is very different than the first film he does not get gunned down in this i believe and it's been a very long time since i've seen this he uh is hurt or injured in a car explosion he does lose one leg and that starts the process of you know doing everything michael keaton as a bad guy is really really rare in certain instances in the films Hasn't been seen in a long time, uh, maybe in the late 80s, early 90s, even with, I believe it's 1996 with Desperate Measures, where he was in a movie with Andy Garcia. Other than that, it's interesting. Samuel L. Jackson is not in it as much. Gary Oldman is not in it as much. It's just a main focus on Joel Kinnaman. And kind of in a way, the aspect and the, I want to say, sidekick Lewis is not in it as well. It's just focused on how everything works. And instead of, it's still OCP, but it's called Omni Core and, uh, or the Omni Foundation or whatever you want to call it. Very different than what it is in the original films. And it's just, you know, it's just, it's, it's not as good. And it's a long movie. It's 118 minutes long. It's close to, it's less than two hours long it's less than two minutes which means it's 120 is the two hour mark so it's fun but it's not fun fun it could have been better it could have been more interesting uh the lack of i want to say aspect of you know saying like hey this is robocop go see this movie very very hard to juggle when you know the 80s movie is the biggest one of all time especially how it change the aspect of the franchise this is the fourth installment in the franchise i mean it's the fourth movie but this is only the remake so you could still put it in that category of being the fourth installment has no connections to the original film or the franchise it's just a remake it's definitely a remake it's not a reboot at all if it was a reboot they would be doing different things with it especially with the story i didn't mind seeing big name stars in this it kind of worked but I wanted more of them, especially with Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, and Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson is the one that really stole the show and the movie as Pat Novak because it's kind of that element of that CNN, MSNBC, like, hey, the Novak element. I want to tell you what I think, but then go on and on. He has a great monologue, dialogue scene in this where it's really, really fun. There is an Ed 209 in this as well, which is really different in design. Uh, everything is different in the design, but the movie relied on CGI so much that it kind of ruined it. And the only thing that saved it is the big name stars, but they weren't in the movie for a long time where it worked. Not that twist that was there or how Michael Keaton did something to Gary Oldman or certain aspects of how certain actors share the screen. 
Could have been done in a different movie, a better movie, not RoboCop. Joel Kinnaman was fine. It kind of put him and thrust him into Hollywood a little bit because this was, I want to say, his big major first starring role. But other than that, didn't work. Should not have been redone, remade, or whatever you want to call it. RoboCop 2014 or RoboCop gets one out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about RoboCop 2014, the remake of the 1987 movie of the same name. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? Did you like how it was different and changed? Do you think they should have kept that crazy murder plot in there where he became RoboCop from the first film? Do you think that would have made it better? And what did you think about seeing big name stars in this movie like Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, and Samuel Jackson? And do you think that, you know, they were a fit for their roles? And how do you think Joel Kinnaman did as Alex Murphy at RoboCop? Do you think it would have been better? Do you think they should have kept the original gray silver suit? Or do you think that going all black kind of ruined it and a uh, heavy use of CGI was used? And could you tell that it was? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And let me know what rating you would give RoboCop 2014. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video and thank you so much for tuning in.